what is good my stars i hope you guys are good um so welcome to a new vlog i don't think i've done an intro with this vlog thank you so much for stopping back by i really hope that you can enjoy this week's video so that you can keep coming back for more this is a vlog um so we started the vlog yesterday with maintenance and i'm just gonna quickly show you guys my lashes so fortunately we don't have an infection I'm so glad uh, that I don't have an infection. So I do think it was just that specific day. Because mind you, I was worried. What's, am I going to be able to see who doesn't put lashes? What's going on? So I guess it was just that day. Um, I did try a new lash lady. I'm going to share yes. I always say I'm going to link everything in the description box. Then I don't. And I hate people who do that. So I'll try my best to actually fulfill that and link things in the description box. And then I also got my nails done. Let me show you guys the end result. So everything will be in the description box and i'm gonna show you guys the, the fit of the day quickly i'm just wearing this long leopard print dress and i'm wearing this t-shirt underneath because i'm so now my belly and oh my father i'm so now my belly and i'm so basically basically um I can't wait to get my boots done, but anyway, right now I am off to run errands. Um, it's gonna be a long day. I'm hoping to meet up with Zolta Ziri um, later, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. What I'm preparing for is my cousin in law. It's my, I'm just gonna say my cousin. It's my cousin's wedding this weekend on Saturday, so that's what we are preparing for. Um, my dress. I went to go check out my dress yesterday and my designer is the girl she thinks she is. Share me as somebody said in the I think two previous um two vlogs ago that I should link my designer's um account and I forgot to do it. I'm definitely gonna do it this time because she's an amazing, amazing girl. Absolutely great at what she does. So I went to go check out my dress Isolo. I did not vlog that and I'm so impressed. You guys are gonna see the dress on the day. But what I'm leaving the house for right now is I need to um, do a bit of grocery shopping for the week. I need um, to huh? get accessories. Get accessories for my dress. Not a lot. It's just a bit of um, arm work, like a bit of bangles. Um, very minimal. I, I just. I think I'm just gonna buy like one. Just need a little Got. Um, I need shoes. I need shoes. Um, what else? Yeah. That. That's basically all. So I'm off to the mall and yeah, let's get this vlog started, baby. It's been one hell of a day. Why let me get some jeans on Monday? One is an event. Much better. I forgot my sunglasses. I've been been close to the whole day. The whole day. I'm so tired now. I'm going back to my house. It is three o'clock. Being a parent. Being a parent is a scam. I left 
my house at 11 yeah and i looked at the time it was quarter to 12 and i was already missing my daughter so much and i was already feeling bad but oh inga niami um i wonder if she's okay that time i know she's okay I, i've left her with someone that i pretty pretty much trust and i was having a meeting with myself or a conversation with myself but if i'm so scared to leave her or if i feel so bad to leave her does that mean i'm gonna always be home which is not practical it's not realistic for me gee i'm like oh guys I, oh yeah it's it's mom guilt that's what i um amanda calls it i watch amanda's channel and she's always going on about mom guilt so i finally understand but what is mom guilt also this thing of leaving the house to run errands and then you end up buying something for your daughter you mean tell me why did i buy something for ul why because i like the most anyway yeah all the things i've been hearing about motherhood they're finally happening um we're gonna do a quick haul when we get home a short grocery haul it's like a weekly pickup it's nothing serious um i'm also gonna show you guys the shoes that i got i ended up getting the shoes but i didn't get them um at the in, in, initial mall that i went to i went to another mall because this mall where i'm currently at there's a store called my city girl there's a store called city girl so it normally has like trendy items so i knew but i'm definitely gonna find the shoes the silver shoes there yeah let's get going and then we'll talk i also want a picture today so i'm gonna try get my helper to take a picture i was supposed to go out with zota that's not happening anymore because she has some issues child but yeah i'm so mad no but then again i was gonna feel bad for leaving my daughter the whole for like a longer time hey I'm back home. Excuse the lighting. Second time by my so lighting is a bit. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I got. So that we've done the grocery haul. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I've got. First up, I went to Woolies. So every ever since giving birth, my breasts are bigger than um what they were. So I used to be a double D, and then I went from double D to D. I'm back to double D now. Um, and I noticed the Woolies the bras that i have are very uncomfortable so i decided to get um a twin pack double d's especially because the dress that i'm wearing this weekend needs a real bra and not a nursing bra and then i got some shapewear because obviously um i just gave birth if you don't know this then i guess i guess i guess i'm sure as long as he has i recently gave birth so obviously i do have a bit of um belly however i am so proud of my body because i'm not back at the gym yet because my daughter was sick oh do you guys know you guys don't know about that so ellie was sick after um being born we spent majority of the first month in hospital so um i've been in hospital it's only now where she's like settling and we are getting used to a home routine um and i'm getting more comfortable um leaving her with her nanny so i'm gonna go back to gym soon but i i haven't i haven't been to gym yet and then the shoes that i got from that store that i was telling you about in the car city girl this is what they look like they're quite popular um initially they're not the shoes that i wanted because i feel like they're popular everybody has them however i couldn't find them i, I couldn't find anything um else this was the only option i had because the shoe needs to be silver because the dress has silver in it so i'm gonna be wearing this shoe quite a popular shoe quite a very very popular shoe and then the last store that i went to was Foshini um and we got a bag we got a bag from Fushini. Uh, and we got what's this oh the outfit to have baby for christmas i also went to kiddo 
and then i got this dress honestly what drew me to this dress is the color i have nothing like this in my closet it's just a satin um simple dress from fashini i have nothing like this in my closet and i just i liked the royal blue uh i'm not going to show you the outfit i paid for christmas because i want you guys to see her on christmas um so tomorrow um i have a nurse coming um yeah to take my bloods because i'm doing an annual um checkup so i'm so over drawing bloods if you've been pregnant before you know a lot when you're pregnant but i have to go through that again because um i just have to but yeah that's it for today i'll probably just make dinner i'm not gonna cook with you guys because we're always cooking or should i we'll see if i don't cook with you guys i'll just see you guys tomorrow um hey stars what is good i hope you guys are good it is the next day i just came back from gracie to do my hair to salon he wants to do my hair so i'm half ready for tomorrow stressing nasa is a makeup artist stressing nasa is a makeup artist um because obviously the makeup artist needs to be from that side and mina i am from this side so i'm struggling to get a hold of her she's the same lady who did my makeup for my traditional wedding because my um traditional wedding happened um at my husband's side of the family so i'm, I'm using the, the lady from that side um but she's not picking up and i'm getting stressed because then what's going to happen in the morning but yeah tomorrow's the wedding i'm not going to show you guys my dress now because you're probably going to see tomorrow we're going to do a quick unboxing a take a lot unboxing i didn't get much um but i'll just do it anyway if i don't see okay let's so The first item, it's honestly nothing Right, the first item is the vitamin C serum, the Garnier vitamin C serum, and then I got Ishe Butter for my daughter because it's the only thing that seems to be working for her skin. So my mother-in-law pulled through with this because she's the one who recommended this. Ning and Bella, when we tried using it, it works. It works. So this is just the unrefined shea butter for my girl. This is what she looks like. Produced in Ghana. Packed in South Africa. Okay. And then the last item here is I'm contemplating if I should show you guys or not. If I show you guys, then I'm gonna ruin the surprise. We have a we have a big surprise coming on the channel. And if I show you guys this, it's gonna ruin the surprise. So I'm gonna wait it out and then when I do the announcement, I'm gonna unbox this as well. I just wanna quickly put all the mommies on. This is the future life, uh mommy's food. For, break, for pregnancy and breastfeeding moms and it's in the vanilla flavored shake not only is this good for our kids it tastes amazing so if you're breastfeeding and you're trying to by the way i haven't told you guys that i'm breastfeeding and i did try the whole formula thing but it's not working out for me and my daughter she's refluxing a lot um unless if she's on the breast milk and if she's on the breast milk then she's not refluxing so i'm on a mission to not not even i'm on a mission i exclusively breastfeed her so i need to generate milk like a cow because right now i'm not making enough milk um and i'm worried because tomorrow we're going to the wedding and what's going to happen because i'm not going with her to the wedding so i'm really trying to push fluids today so that i can pump enough milk for her but yeah if you're breastfeeding feeding mom get on this get on this i also feel like nobody prepared me for the challenges that come with having a newborn and like being sleep deprived adjusting and getting used to almost having someone 
completely dependent on you. It's a lot. But we'll talk about that, I think, on a separate video. Although, I should know. I love being my daughter's mom, but every day, every single day is a bit overwhelming. It's like, bro, can I just be a mom today? And then tomorrow I get a break. And then tell me tomorrow you go back to my in, inside my tummy. And then I'll see you two days. Ugh. Every day I'm my daughter's mother. I want to make noodles. I'm hungry. So before we get packing for home, I want to make noodles. I'm hungry and that's what I'm craving. And then... I also need to put a melting belt around this because I need to be looking like these tomorrow. today so the wedding and everything is over um i'm not having a good morning it's actually midday now so i'm trying to look 12 i'm not having a good day because yesterday we duma and some kunta kumil basically kunta kumil and we don't have electricity from last night it's at eight o'clock and magic it's the next day at 12 o'clock i will guess so i'm on my way to charge i'm gonna look for a spot i'll probably just go work at mug and bean so that i can charge my devices and grab something to eat i haven't eaten the whole day i haven't had uh, breakfast the whole day because i keep thinking okay so boy, okay, so boy. it's not happening so i do have a bit of work to do um so i'll just go sit down somewhere and start editing and start doing some work and charging which is the most important thing i'm hoping um by the time I come back, so we you guess. Also, I'm breastfeeding, exclusively breastfeeding. I think I did mention this. So this means that I go gamma intervals, a babe. I just um, dropped off hubby now, came back to feed, and then I'm going again, and then I'm going to come back again. So I come back after every two hours to feed a babe. So it's a bit of a hassle. Um, it's not even a bit, it's, it's a huge hassle. But it is what it is. I'm also not pumping enough milk, just in case something's gonna be like, oh, I said, why aren't you pumping? I'm not pumping enough milk. I'm pumping per feed. I'm making just enough for her to eat. So if I'm pumping, it means you pump better for one feed. And that means she hasn't eaten in a long time. So I can't make her eat and pump. Then I don't have sufficient milk to make a feed. So that's one of the struggles that I'm currently facing as a new mom that is exclusively breastfeeding. But, oh yeah, what I wanted to come tell you guys is, yo guys, some of you guys are so kind. that I was talking about <laughs>
is recording videos for YouTube. Stop talking, babe. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Um, we're getting a gift from my grandma, but I don't call my grandma, I call her my mother. Okay. <laughs> Why are you calling her your mother? Mommy, because I'm used to it. Okay. And then what are we doing today? We're getting a gift and we're here to the shop and someone is wrapping it for us. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Do you want to eat at home or do you want to eat? I want to eat at a restaurant. Of course you're going to say that. It's not good too. Don't let money. Excuse me? Don't let money. Tink, buy a stress ball, I told you. <laughs> because you don't have money. You do have money. It's just because you have stress. Hey, hey. Ya poopa. Ya poopa, ya stress. Tell it, guys. Sleeveless, I'm gonna 